travel with us to catch your dream fish. Where professional fishermen buy their tackle. A fish of over 20 kilos finally came. It was caught 165 meters down using a common piking method, but with the aid of a super stainless steel piker. When he's pulling from the spool, it's wonderful. It's good to focus on just one thing, pulling the fish out unharmed. Weigh her, treat her nicely and put her back. You won't find such fish in central Norway, let alone in the south. Only here in Soroya. When is the best season for Bingo? Best season for Bingo is when we have herring like no, and in summertime we have a lot of uh, cold fish. Small cold fish, not fancy fish, but it's food for the big fish. So the big cod hunts for the color in summertime. And uh, I think uh, your friend uh, Standard has caught his big one in the middle of summer, middle of summer yes. in this area, over 30, 30 kilos. Yes, yes. And it was filled with, uh, with this uh, cold yeah. color. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Or say, as we say in yes. Norway. Yes. Yes. <laughs> And the second most wanted fish is halibut. Yeah, of course. For some people it's the most wanted. Yes. So halibut is best season in the beginning and in the end. Yes. It means midsummer mid summer is not that good for, yeah. uh, for halibut. That means end of April, whole May, yes. maybe a little in June also. This season has been weather cold, yes. so halibut also is good. Yes. We've got a monster here. Arnulf and us got above a depth of 180, 190 meters. I let it down and at 160 meters, bang, there it was. It swallowed the whole piker with two treble hooks down its belly. Fish really love Swedish pikers here. Today's trip got us a second fish of over 20 kilos. It's now August and we're heading for a third time to Soroya Island. Summer is at its peak here. Mushrooms and cranberries abound on the tundra, which no one picks. Sea otters have brought out their young and are foraging for them.
Nice catch. She took it as soon as the bait hit the water. It's a beautiful sea wolf. I've chosen a good place for sea cats. There where the depth from the coast drops sharply from 10 to 50 meters. There are various clams and creatures that sea cats love, and I'm successfully trying to catch them there. That's a nice tiger. I'm afraid to take it with my hands. We plan to go out 30 kilometers on the open sea today, but the pressure has rapidly dropped over the past two hours. Because of the possibility of an approaching storm, we've decided to stay here in the fjord. Looks like a good fish. Maybe a pollock. It might even be a halibut, Michal. Hloubka 37, 37, 38 meters down, and it shows some fish down there. I myself am interested what it will be. That was a very aggressive catch. It doesn't much look like a sea cat. Just what I expected. It was really aggressive for a sea cat. And the fish took about 15 meters of braid. That's typical of a halibut. Though small, it feels nice when caught on a spinning rod. Beautiful struggle. It's great when the rot tips in the water. Beautiful fish, but it'd be better if it were 20 or 30 kilos. Go swim. The lure was a jig head and pollock fillet. We'll put on a new one and try again. Sea cats are masters at stealing meat from the hook. I wouldn't do it better myself, so I have to fix the chunk of fish to the hook with some copper wire. Typical of a sea cat, it pulled the rock tip twice. Give the fish two to three seconds to get it properly in its mouth and then a sharp jerk. It's not good to pull a sea cat quickly because you never know which part of the mouth you've hooked. The upper and lower jaws are very hard and it can be difficult to remove the hook. Yes, sea cats truly cannot resist a chunk of meat. I let it get it firmly into its mouth. I got it right in the side of the face. That's the one place you can cut her. Super adrenaline. 
See cat with the jaws three centimeters from your fingers. I'd like to bite you. But when it does, right, Michal? You know that. Well done. The fish took it really carefully. It was like tap, tap. So I took it easy to have him set it right. In the summer, halibut come to shallow waters to hunt haddock. The ideal way to catch them is with a spinning rod. The magic of fishing on a polar day is difficult to describe to someone from Central Europe. Once you've experienced it, you'll want to return again and again to that magical place where the sun never sets. Hey, look, Milan, there it is. It's from 150 meters. I've caught a big fish before, but nothing like this. I'd expect anything, but not this. Come on! I can't do it. I'm dead tired. The electric winch won't take it anymore, so I've got to do it by hand. What is it, Standa? It's under the boat. I've no idea. Cod? Not cod. It's a halibut. Wait, wait! Look! It's a halibut! Put that harpoon away! He's had it. Here he is. And here he is. Yeah! We've got him! Thank you, Poseidon. Love it on Soraya. And lots of thanks to our friends from the whole team. I couldn't have done it without them. A halibut like this is surely a delight but it's still a small shrimp when compared to the Czech record from the year 2009. It was an amazing 196 centimeters long and weighed an incredible 87 kilos. Our first fishing trip to Saroya was at the end of winter, where we caught a lot of Atlantic cod, some weighing almost 20 kilos. We returned at the start of summer and managed to catch several cod of more than 24 kilos. And we added to the pleasure of our stay by fishing some freshwater lakes. We finished the season with a fishing trip at the end of summer, where we again landed some very nice cod. We also tried spinning, which was especially successful 
on Seawolf. Our friend here caught an 18 kilogram spotted seawolf, which the locals call a leopard. We also managed to catch a 26 kilogram halibut. As you can see, fishing on Saroya Island is interesting and exciting in any season. The ultimate fishing experience, and not just for the sea fishing enthusiast. Travel with us to catch your dream fish. Where professional fishermen buy their tackle.